ooh, these Halloween plates I just got are absolutely darling. I'm sure everyone will love them. But oh no, is that a spot on the vase? Barack, come down here right now. I told you to polish this vase. Barack, you look so goddamn hot right now. The man at Spirit Halloween was right about wearing a codpiece. Barack, come down here. Uh, what is it now? I guess I'll have to continue staring at myself in the mirror later. Let me just grab my mask. Hmm, where's my mask? Barack, don't you hear me calling you? Come down here this instant. Finally, now, didn't I tell you to polish this vase? Did you do it? Uh, yeah. Of course I polished it. You're lying. There's a big spot on the side. Look. Oh, well, okay. Sorry, Michelle. I didn't do it. I was busy trying on my costume. Speaking of, have you seen my mask anywhere? Yeah, I took it. Well, can you give it back? My costume isn't complete if I don't have my mask. Barack, do you really think it's a smart idea for a grown black man to walk around in a mask? Fair point taken. I guess I'll just tell everyone that it ripped off when I was fighting crime. I can't believe you're actually going trick-or-treating. The election is in four days. Shouldn't you be focusing on that? Michelle, baby, I have this one in the bag. In a week's time, I'll be this nation's first black president. That's assuming the rumors about Lyndon B. Johnson's penis aren't true. Well, just make sure you're back in time for my dinner party. Yeah, 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 I said I would. Like you said you would polish the vase? Listen, can we not talk about this now? You're ruining my perfect Batman stoicism. Fine, go and have fun trick-or-treating with your friend. My friend? Huh, who's that? Hello, Mr. Obama. Happy Halloween. Joe, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed like a cow? It's my Halloween costume. I wanted to be Batman, but my wife said I shouldn't be wearing anything from PG-13 movies. Joe, you made it, and you look absolutely adorable in your cow costume. Thanks, Mrs. Obama. My wife told me to remind you that she's bringing foie gras to your dinner party tonight. Fabulous. It's the only thing they were out of at the store. Hey, uh, Michelle, can we talk for a second? What is it? Can we go into the living room to talk alone, maybe? Oh, don't mind me. I'll just face the corner and not listen. I'm really good at not hearing things. It started in 1950, when the priest at my local church asked all the choir boys to ignore that he was taking off our pants. Wow, this is a really good paint job. You can tell it was done by a white man. Michelle, why is Joe here? Jill told me that he didn't have anyone to go trick-or-treating with, so I told her he could go with you. Michelle, why would you do that? What's the problem? I thought it'd be a good idea for you to hang out with the nice boy who's going to be your vice president. Oop, I may have spoken too soon. There's a spot, probably the work of Mexicans. Michelle, Joe is a loser. If I go out trick-or-treating with him, I won't have any fun. I'll have to listen to all his dumb stories. And if we stumble upon a sorority house having a Halloween party, I'll never be invited to join with him there. A sorority house? What in the fuck? Okay, maybe forget I said that part. The point is, I don't want to go trick-or-treating with Joe. And there's some wall paint splashed on the baseboard, a poor taping job to be sure. I think I can no longer deny the facts. A black man painted this wall. Well, too bad because you're going with him and that's final. Did you finish talking with your wife? Is it time to go trick-or-treating? I really hope someone is giving out Fralinger's saltwater taffy. Yeah, we can go, I guess. Let's just get this over with. Oh boy, we're gonna have so much fun. Where do you wanna go first? I think they're handing out candy made from sawdust at Home Depot, and they have dog treats at PetSmart. Both sound yummy. Maybe we should go to one of those places. Okay, Joe, get this straight. I'm the president, so I'm gonna be in charge. I already have my whole trick-or-treating route fully planned. If you wanna come along, just follow me and try not to slow me down. All right, Mr. Obama, I won't get in your way. Good, first stop are the mansions on the block over there. Quick gentlemen, and get all the very illegal things into the warehouse before anyone sees. Hey boss, I don't mind hauling all this stuff, but why we gotta do it in these silly costumes? You have to wear them so no one suspects you're up to no good. Have you ever heard of a crab carrying cocaine before? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have once or twice. No you haven't Dave, shut the fuck up. I'm so tired of your lies. Boss, you don't have to be so mean to Dave, he's just a little confused about your methods is all. My methods are my business. I'm in charge. I get the stuff and I make the deals and you three do what I say. 
Boss, do we need to go back to group therapy in order to re-strengthen our bond? Fucking Matthew with the group therapy again. I told you it was a one-time thing. I think Matthew is right. It helped last time. But they had the worst cookies. I'm paying $300 an hour, and they give us store brand cookies. I kind of liked the cookies. Enough talk. Get back to unloading the truck. Hey, Mr. Obama, I think I'm doing a really good job at not getting in your way. If I keep doing a good job, do you think we could be friends? Friends? I don't think so. I mean, I doubt we even like the same things. We might. What kind of things do you like? Just awesome things like roller coasters and video games. No way. That's such a coincidence. I like roller coasters and video games, too. Have you ever been to Hershey Park? Of course I have. Hershey Park is the best. There's so much history. Take the Comet, for example. Did you know it was built in 1946 by Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters? I wasn't sure about the exact year, but 1946 sounds right. I know I first wrote it not long after World War II ended because everyone was so horny from no longer being at war that they were boning right on the ride. In fact, just about everywhere was a fuck fest in those days. Oh, wow. You must have been just a little kid then. No, I was fully grown. Wait, how is that possible? Out of the way, losers. Hey, pal. Watch where you're going. We're having a conversation here. Probably a conversation about who's going to bottom later from the looks of it. My money's on the Crypt Keeper in the cow costume. I'll have you know that my wife made me this costume. She's a doctor. It makes sense that you'd be married to a doctor with the round-the-clock medical care I'm sure you need. No, she's a doctor of English or something stupid. Figures. Okay, sorry to cut this short, but I have important business to take care of at the next house. I hear they're giving out Twix. Hey, wait up. You still owe us an apology for bumping into us like that. You're still here? Buddy, grow up. It's called trick-or-treating. This is basically war. There's no room for childish things like civility. There must also be no room for things like costume accuracy. What are you supposed to be? The Joker? Where's your makeup? First, makeup is for women. Second, it's a crime in seven states to cover up a face this beautiful. And you're one to be talking. Who dresses up as Batman without the mask? I totally had a mask earlier, but it ripped off when I was fighting crime. You? Fighting crime? I can't see someone of your complexion lowering the crime statistics in this country. I, on the other hand, have fought like four or five crimes tonight alone. Whoa, Mr. Obama, don't leave me behind. I can't keep up like the youngins. Wait, I just figured out who you two are. You're that black guy who's running for president, and you're his vice president. Oh, this is great. I've been trolling you guys so hard. Trolling us? Oh, you're Donald Trump. You're the businessman who is telling everyone I was born in Africa. I mean, your dad was like Ugandan or something, so it makes sense. My dad was Kenyan. What's the difference? They're distinct countries, you racist fuck. Whatever, the point is, if you were really born in America, you'd whip out your birth certificate right now and prove it. Who carries their birth certificate on them? Me for one. Any proud American keeps their birth certificate always on hand to prove they aren't an immigrant. He's right on that one, Mr. Obama. I always have my birth certificate, too. Fine, but I'm still going to be president, and you won't. I could easily become president. Trust me. Oh, shit. It looks like that house is running low on Twix. Fuck me. Bye, loser. Gotta run. Well, hopefully we never see that guy again. Great job, everyone. Now, as I promised, you may all go to Applebee's. My treat. Yay, I love Applebee's. I know, Giovanni. Make sure you get spinach and artichoke dip. I know it's your favorite. But boss, aren't you coming too? Not right now. Boss, I hope it's nothing we said. We want you to join us. Come along. I know, Dave. Don't worry. I'll be along a little later. I just have some things to take care of first. What kind of things? If we stay and help, it could go faster. Yeah, I agree. Let us help. It's, uh, not exactly the kind of thing you can help me with. Oh, don't say that, boss. We'd help you with anything. What is it? Just tell us. It's a... Tell us! Tell us! Tell us! Okay. It's a shit. I have to take a shit, a bad one. The kind where you're grabbing the shower rod and begging for death. I'll probably be like an hour. Oh, uh, in that case, we'll meet you at Applebee's. I can't believe you also like the musicals of Stephen Sondheim. Who knew we could have so much in common, Joe? I don't know. Maybe someone who can see the future like a psychic or a voodoo priestess. And your silly stupidity, though perhaps a little problematic, is growing on me.
Come on, let's see what candy we can get from this house. Oh wow, let's see what we got here. A Pokemon, a Cyclops, some weird kid with a ball, and a cow. What about you, young man? What are you dressed as? I'm Batman, sir. Batman? Where's your mask? Batman needs a mask, doesn't he? Unfortunately, my mask ripped off while I was fighting crime. Fighting crime? Well, that's marvelous, isn't it? Now everyone take one. Sir, do you have any Frallinger's saltwater taffy? I see you're still sticking with that crime story, Africa boy. Oh no, please don't say it. Kids, you need to run now. Dump your best stuff in the pail and fuck off, old man. Aha, classic Joker. What are you doing here, Trump? Are you following us? Do you think I'd really follow guys? Women maybe, but not guys. Actually, can you forget I said that second part? Yeah, I'll forget it if you leave us alone. What's with you? Normally people are begging to hang out with a cool guy like me. You two are just that lame, huh? I think you're the one who's really lame. Joe and I have class. We like refined things like musicals. I bet you only like whatever popular stuff the world is touting these days. You guys like musicals? Why did you tell him, Mr. Obama? He's going to bully us now like when I told George Washington that I liked the writing of Richard Price more than Thomas Paine. Don't worry, Joe. People like Trump are all talk. Yeah, we like musicals. What are you going to do about it? You guys seriously aren't yanking my chain. You really like musicals, like a lot? Yeah, a lot. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe you guys are cool. Wait, what? What Joe said, are you saying you like musicals too? Like musicals? I love them. I practically eat, sleep, and breathe them. They're my favorite thing ahead of intense roller coasters and the Silent Hill video games. You're kidding me. We were just talking about how much we love the Silent Hill games. Silent Hill 2 is a masterpiece. I wouldn't go that far. The third one is a masterpiece, though. Heather's ass really raises my flag over Iwo Jima, if you know what I mean. Hey, have you played the new one yet, Homecoming? Uh, I haven't had a chance because of the election. Homecoming, huh? Probably best you just skip that one. I'm sure Silent Hill will get back on track, though, and continue knocking them out of the park. Wow, we're getting along great, aren't we? Does this mean we're all best friends now or something? Not by a long shot, old man. You and Discount MLK may have a few good opinions, but I am far more selective when it comes to my friends. I guess we can hang out for a little while, though. I'd love that. We can share our top 10 musicals while we go to houses. Actually, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. By this part of the night, the main thoroughfares are way too overcrowded. If we want anything good, we'll have to go a little off the beaten path. What do you mean? Just trust me. Oh, everything is coming along so nicely, but young lady, remember to keep your arms steady when you're serving guests. Yes, Mrs. Obama. Young man, what are you doing? Did I tell you to bring food into the dining room yet, or are you just stupid? Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Obama. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. I'm just so worried about everything, and my husband is off trick-or-treating like a child when he should be focusing on the election. If he doesn't take being president seriously now, will he take it seriously when he wins? Well, I don't know how it works in the black community, but white men tend to just wing stuff, and it usually works out. That's such a man response. Maybe if men put more care in things, then we wouldn't have war or hunger. No, war and hunger happen when men try too much. If everyone just chilled, we'd probably be much better off. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who's working as a caterer to steal rich people's jewels. Here we are, boys. Uh, where are we exactly? Mr. Obama, it's clearly a candy factory. Right you are, old man. This building used to be home to the Whitey Arkman and Son Candy Company. Used to? Well, yeah, it closed down like 40 years ago or something, but rumor has it that every year, the old factory workers assemble on Halloween to hand out candy to the kids brave enough to go inside. Where did you hear this rumor? It was from a 10-year-old in a modern warfare lobby, but the kid was 10th prestige, so he clearly knew his shit. He also knew a lot of slurs I'd never even heard of before. I can teach you them some time if you'd like. I'll pass. I already know a ton of slurs. I learned most of them from Strom Thurmond. Your loss. Okay, let's go. Wait up a second. What is it, Obama? Are you wimping out? I was finally starting to like you. I'm just saying I don't know if this is such a great idea. I mean, we have no idea who could be in there. Squatters, drug addicts, Hillary Clinton beating someone to death with a baseball bat. Mr. Obama, this is our chance to hang out with a cool kid. Don't ruin it. Listen to Dumbledore, Obama. 
Okay, fine, we'll take a quick peek in. But if anything is weird, we're gonna run, okay? Trust me, if I see Hillary Clinton, I'll be out of there faster than your people can gank a pair of sneakers from a Nike. Hello, is anyone here? I think this place is empty, let's go. No, this is definitely the place to be. Look at all these boxes, they're probably filled with candy. Oh God, oh God in heaven, please take me now. Damn, that guy sounds scared. Maybe they have a haunted house here too or something. Are you kidding me? That man sounded like he was dying. Let's go. Hold your horses, Obama. Old man, check these boxes for candy. Right away, Mr. Trump. Trump, you're acting crazy. There is no way there's candy here. Just admit you were wrong. Hey guys, this box is filled with what looks like rock candy. You were saying? Joe, can you describe it a little more? Yeah, it's like these small white crystals in a bunch of clear baggies. I think I've seen my son Hunter with this stuff before. We don't know for sure that that's meth. What are you doing to my meth? Oh shit. Answer me, who are you people? DEA? Play along. Here was, sir, my name is Donnie. Inform the hospital for people with the boo-boo brain. Trump, are you really trying to act like a mentally handicapped person? Obama, I almost fooled him. Huh, like I would ever believe such a ridiculous act. Hello, sir. My name is Joe, and I don't know what's going on here, but we just came for some of your candy. If it's a matter of money, I have plenty. I'm pretty rich from some investments I made in the 1800s by buying stock in a playing card company named Nintendo. Hmm. So your story may check out after all. Good work, Joe. Fine. Get on back to the hospital with you and forget what you saw here. Thanks, sir. Me and my maybe friend have a very important election to become president and vice president in a few days, so it'd be a real shame if you kept us here to eat candy until our stomachs exploded. I think that's what was going to happen. Election? So you are with the government. Joe, what did you do? He almost let us go. Was I not supposed to say that? Oops, sorry guys. Save your sorries. Run. Get back here. Oh my god, we're so fucked. I know, but we can't worry about it now. Just keep going. Damn it, they got away, but I will find them eventually. Yeah, so I'm pretty much the boss of our whole organization, Ali. Impressive, huh? Yeah, that's cool, I guess. But Dave, you aren't the boss. The boss is the boss. Shut up, Giovanni. He's a little confused, Ali. It's a whole corporate superstructure thing, kind of complicated. The point is, if I tell these guys to get me a soda or something, they're gonna do it, probably. Oh, okay, good for you. We wouldn't get you a soda because you're our boss. It's because we're your friends. Matthew, you two, can you shut the fuck up, please? I'm trying to impress Ali here. Ali, you think I'm awesome, right? I don't know, you seem fine. So just the spinach and artichoke dip and mozzarella sticks to start? Throw an order of onion rings on there too. Money is no object when it comes to me. It's because the boss is paying, and by that I mean our real boss, not Dave. Giovanni, for fuck's sake, just stop talking. Put that order in, Ali, and give us a few moments, will ya? Sure, it doesn't matter to me. That went well. Don't you think, guys? She was clearly smitten with you, Dave. Someday, you'll have to teach me your tricks with women. It's all in the subtle art of conversation, Giovanni. Oh, that must be the boss. Hey, boss, it's Dave. Dave, where are you guys? We're at Applebee's. Our waitress is really cute, and she's super into me. I'm gonna ask her if I can kiss her on the lips. Dave, don't do that. We'll get banned from there like they banned us from Olive Garden. I miss the breadstick so much. Trust me, boss. This time is different. No, it's not. But that doesn't matter right now. Some government guy showed up at the warehouse. They saw the meth, and I think they also heard me pooping. Yikes, that's embarrassing. Sorry, boss. Is that it? I think I'm gonna go into the kitchen to talk to Ali. Wait. The waitress you're talking about is Ali? Dave. She's way out of your league, and she has a boyfriend. So what? I'm sure I'm way cooler than whoever he is. No, you're not. He works as an escalator repairman, so he makes like $65,000 a year. And I heard that on the weekends, he does semi-pro go-kart racing. Well, I'm really close to signing up for a ping-pong tournament. That's basically the same thing. Dave, just give it up. Oh fuck, I almost forgot the government guys. You mean the guys who saw you pooping? I mean, that's awkward but it's usually not criminal. Not the poop, the meth. They ran off. We need to find them. Get back here immediately. That fucking guy. Okay, this should be far enough. I don't hear him chasing us anymore. 
Mr. Obama, what are we going to do? Unfortunately, I think this is the end of our trick-or-treating adventure for this year. I'd say we part ways. It was great while it lasted. God damn, Obama, way to be lame. The night is still young and there is so much candy to get. How much more candy do you need? You have a full bucket. This is actually my 12th pail of the night. I've been periodically having my driver pick them up and fly them back to Trump Tower. Your 12th pail? How did you possibly get so much? Whenever I find a house that has a candy bowl out that says, take one, I dump the whole thing in the bushes, then shatter the bowl on the front door. Jesus, I think you may have some issues. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Things are kind of hard right now. My two-year-old son, Baron, was just diagnosed with gigantism, though I think it's a curse, long story. Also, I'm having some serious writer's block with my musical. You're writing a musical? That's pretty cool, what's it about? It's called Trump the Musical, and it's about my life. I've been writing it for years. The problem is whenever I get to a part I'm happy with, cool new shit happens to me, and I have to go back to the drawing board. Hmm, yeah, it's tricky to write a musical about a story that's technically ongoing. Can you sing us one of your songs? What, like right now, a cappella? Yeah, do it. You never know when you'll run into a producer. It's good practice. Oh, well, okay. This one is called Help Me Through. It's a duet between me and my mistress turned wife turned ex-wife, Marla. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do this, Donnie. You gonna sing it? Yeah, just don't judge me too harshly. It's a cappella after all. I look at you and the world stops turning. I clear my eyes just long enough to see my life's a mess and the rock is burning. Douse the flames and be with me. I've lived my life trusting truth and learning. I never gave my heart its room to breathe. And when they're starved of the things they're yearning, helpless hearts will start to see. It goes into a B section followed by a modified A section that ends with the song's title. The whole thing repeats with Marla singing different lyrics in the first half. Then we sing the final B and A sections together. So uh, what did you guys think? Mr. Trump, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought it was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Really? Oh, thank God, I was so nervous. You could probably tell from my voice. You had no reason to be nervous. That was amazing. I just wish I could hear the rest. Well, I could sing it for you later, or we could hang out some other time, and I could sing it then. I mean, if you're interested. I'm definitely interested, Trump. Well, then, let's do it, I guess. And you can call me Donald if you want. That's what my friends call me. Okay, Donald, call me Barack. You can drop the Mr. Obama, by the way, Joe. It's getting weird. Whatever you want, Barack and Donald, I can't believe it. I have friends. Try not to come because of it, Joe. So what do you say? Want to keep this party going? I know a frat that's hosting a Halloween party. It'd be a good place to hide, probably. I guess it couldn't hurt. I still have some time before my wife's dinner party. Yeah, so I'm working toward my BA in criminal justice right now. One day, I'll probably be a police chief, I'm thinking. Then, I'll institute my own laws, rule a city with an iron fist. That's awesome. I've always thought cops were really hot. Want to go upstairs and make out? Nah, I have to keep an eye on the party, make sure it doesn't get out of hand. And if anyone does cause trouble, I need to be here to beat them into submission. Oh my god, you're making me wet. Well, if you drip on the floor, make sure you wipe it up with a paper towel. Can't have anyone slipping. Rob, there are some people at the door. They're trying to get into the party, but I don't recognize them. Hmm, potential party crashers? Sorry, I need to take care of this. Feel free to have some Tostito scoops while I'm gone. We have both mild and medium salsas as well. So did you see Iron Man? That guy's been gone a long time. Yeah, I'm getting pretty bored. I wish we still had our candy. Trust me, Joe, you can't enjoy a frat party with a candy bucket. It was the right choice to give them to my driver. You seem to know a lot about frats, Donald. Were you in one? No, unfortunately not. It's always been a dream of mine, but the odds of me getting into a frat at my age are low. Hey, it could still happen. I was sure by the Middle Ages that I'd never make friends, but look at me now. Middle Ages? You mean by the time you were middle-aged, right, Joe? I don't misspeak. What seems to be the problem here, gentlemen? 
We were just coming to enjoy the party and this prepubescent pipsqueak in a children's Iron Man costume stopped us. Are you guys students? Only students are allowed at frat parties. It's a rule. Who the fuck cares? Since when do frats obey the rules? Since me. And who are you? My name is Rob. I'm sort of a maverick around here. I run a frat that cares about partying, but it cares more about dispensing justice to people who violate campus rules. So I'm basically Batman in real life. Oh, wow. Do you also date women who are all four out of ten? No way. Rob pulls in only dime pieces. Listen up, Officer Krupke. My friends and I are coming to this party whether you like it or not. I dare you to try. So, Marvel is going to make a ton of cool superhero movies. They already have Iron Man and the Hulk, but they're also going to make a Thor movie and a Captain America movie. And once those are done, they're going to have a team-up movie called The Avengers. It'll be epic. I don't care. Please leave me alone. Hey everyone, Rob is fighting some old men who tried to come into the party. Come and see. Dude, what the fuck was that? Please, sir, have mercy. We'll leave. Oh no, Barack. This hurts so much, and oh god, he's getting hard. All I'm saying is a feel you never support me, and the incident with Ali is an example of that. As a friend, you should have told me to go out there and get the girl. But you just told me I couldn't do it. Good, Dave. Now, boss, would you like to share your feelings? You never listen to me, Dave, and it- No, boss. You need to use I statements. Okay, well then. I feel like you never listen to me, Dave. I keep seeing your self-destructive behavior, and I want to help you. But every time I give you a suggestion, I feel like it goes in one ear and out the other. And Dave, what do you have to say back to the boss? Boss, it ain't that I don't listen. I just don't always like what you have to say. I guess it's because I know deep down that you're right. This is so beautiful. You can say that again, Giovanni. Matthew, you should be our group therapist from now on. Not that hack with the bad cookies. Boss, I feel like I liked the cookies and I'd still want to eat them from time to time. Sure thing. I'll get you a box. Oh fuck. I completely forgot about those government guys. I feel that may partly be my fault. No, Matthew. This was important. But finding them is important too. If I remember correctly, it was a black guy who was probably from Kenya, an old man in a cow costume, and Heath Ledger's ghost. Oh boss, I think I know where they are. How, Giovanni? Those college kids we met at the bar trivia night just texted me that three guys matching that description exactly were just kicked out of a frat party. See? This is why it's important to be friendly with everyone you meet. Oh, Eric, thank you for coming. And Nancy and Hillary, so good to see you all. George, I can't believe you made it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. You know, it seems when you're about to become president, you get all sorts of invites, but the second you become the lame duck, it all dries up. That's too bad. So you think you won't like retirement? Don't get me wrong. I have a feeling I'm going to love retirement, actually. Without all the commitments, I'll finally have a chance to get back into the Resident Evil series. And I have an itching to maybe take a shot at acting. That's wonderful, George. So where's your worst half this evening? I'd hoped we could talk some shop. I need to let him know where all the best spots in the White House are to yank it without getting caught. To be honest, I have no idea where Barack is. He was supposed to be back by now. Can you believe he went out trick-or-treating? What did he go as? Batman. That's a good choice. Well, I'm sure he'll show up eventually. If I ever see you again, I'm going to make your life a living hell. Oh, well, let's hope we never see that guy again. Seconded, I mean, you could tell his bloodlust was much stronger than it even seemed, like he was holding back. What are we going to do now? Go to some more houses? Might as well. If I can get a baker's dozen pails of candy, I'll be set for at least a week. We've pretty much exhausted all the houses around here, though. You're right. Let's take a cab across town. I'll go flag one down real quick. Hey, Barack, was it just me or did you also hear Donald moan his daughter's name while he was getting beaten by that Rob guy? Yeah, I did. I just thought it would be uh, impolite to bring up like how I wasn't going to bring up you moaning Abigail Breslin's name. Hey, it's not my fault she was hot as Kit Kitteridge. Cab's here, boys. Hurry up. Joe, can you keep your fat ass in the middle seat? Oh, sorry, Donald. You're one to talk, Donald. What's that supposed to mean, Barack? Never mind, forget I said anything. That's what I thought. Hello, boys. 
All nice costumes, so where are the four of us headed tonight? Four of us? What the hell are you talking about, dude? You can drop the three of us off at the biggest mansion development in this town. Are you saying your new best buddy Haresh can't come along? No idea who the fuck Haresh is, but if it's you, then no, you can't. If I wanted to hang out with a cab driver, I'd choose the guy from Cash Cab. He's super tall, so we could probably challenge some black guys to basketball and win. If you're worried Haresh will not be good enough friend, let me assure you Haresh is great friend to many people. Me and the co-founder of PayPal are super close. I can use PayPal whenever I want. Oh wow, that's impressive. No, it's uh, really not. Listen, what was it? Mohammed, I'm not really in the market for new friends. I just became friends with these guys for fuck's sake. I need a moment to catch my breath. Are you saying Haresh is lucky enough to witness the dawn of a new friendship? I'm so honored. All right, buddies, I'll give you time, but Haresh will be back. Just wait and see. Oh, fuck, has it really gotten that late? What's up? I just checked the time on my phone. I was supposed to be back for my wife's dinner party an hour ago. Damn, I think I'm supposed to be there too. Jill won't be happy. She'll probably make me eat from the dog bowl again. Joke's on her though, I like doing it. You guys are so lame. Do you know how many times I've done what one of my wives told me to do? Zero. Maybe that's why you have had multiple wives. Joe's been married more than once too, I think. And I don't see you getting on his case. He has a point, Barack. It's completely different. Your first wife died in a horrific car accident. Donald's just been divorced. Potato, potato. I still think we're gonna have to cut this short, but you know what? I'm sure Michelle wouldn't mind you coming. You were a big Democratic donor at one point. We'll just have to try and avoid talking about the multiple racist incidents you've had in your life. Racist incidents? Name one. I mean, just off the top of my head, you tried to get me disqualified from the presidential race by telling everyone I was born in Africa. That was a prank. How was that racist? I, uh, let's just talk about it later. Driver, change of plans. You sure this is the place, Giovanni? Yes, boss. This is the frat house my friends told me about. Well, I don't see those guys anywhere. Didn't you say the African guy was dressed as Batman? Maybe that's him over there. Can I help you, gentlemen? Dave, does this guy look African to you? I don't know, maybe South African. Boss, Africa is the most racially diverse continent on the planet. Dave was right not to assume. I literally called him a black guy. Boss, race is about heritage, not appearance. Don't you remember when we all watched John Cassavetes' groundbreaking film Shadows, which explored what it truly means to be black and the complexities of bias and discrimination possible therein? Are you really lecturing me about race? Boss, as a Hispanic, Giovanni is also a man of color. Giovanni is fucking Italian. Only seven-eighths Italian. He's also one-sixteenth Spanish and one-sixteenth Cherokee Indian. Don't you remember we learned that when we were in the test group for 23 and me? Okay, you all need to explain what you're doing here, or I'm just gonna start kicking your asses. We're looking for some government guys who we have some business with. There was an African guy who was very obviously black, an old man dressed as a cow, and a guy who I thought was Heath Ledger's ghost, but who I've come to assume is probably just the bloated ghost of a drowning victim. Those guys? Yeah, they were here. I beat their asses because they were trying to violate campus rules. Then they got into a cab and drove off. Did you see where the cab was going? I don't have a specific address, but it looked like it was heading to the other side of town. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a sexy cop waiting for me in the kitchen. Isn't this great, boss? We have a lead. No, it's not. How are we supposed to search the whole other side of town if only we knew who those guys were? Hey, everyone, the news is on. Come and see. Perfect timing. We can watch the news to help us relax and come up with a plan. Good evening, everyone. I am News Blackman, and I'm back with some breaking election news. A Halloween night opinion poll shows Democratic nominees and possible lovers. Barack Obama and Joe Biden leading their Republican contenders, John McCain and some woman, by nine points. That's them, boys. Barack Obama and Joe Biden. I will find you. We made it, boys, and that meth guy never found us. Phew, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy this dinner party. Joe, I can't believe you fell asleep in the cab. It's only like nine. 
What's the problem? I missed my nap today. I was tired. The problem is you conked out like a narcoleptic. I should start calling you Sleepy Joe. Barack, you're back. Wait, what is he doing here? Hello, Mrs. Obama. It's nice to see you again. I see you still have the impressive muscular arms of a longshoreman. Barack, please don't tell me you invited Donald Trump to my dinner party. Michelle, he's actually pretty cool. We met trick-or-treating. Was it cool when he told everyone you were born in Africa? Kinda. It was a prank, so you can't take it too seriously. What about when he took out a full-page ad in the New York Times asking for capital punishment to be brought back to execute children? Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't bring that one up. Mrs. Obama, if I may speak, Donald is like Shrek in that scene in Shrek when he says he's like an onion. What? Michelle, please just let Donald come to the party. Ugh, fine. Time to party. There's my wife. Hopefully she doesn't see me. Barack, is that Hillary Clinton? You know my feelings about her. Yeah, I'm sorry, but she kind of had to get invited. It's a whole thing. Bill needed the time to see Monica. Oh, well, as long as it's for the bro code, it's fine. Finally, the men we're looking for are inside this house. You'd think the future president would have something fancier, like a castle or something. Boss, are you sure you want to do this? We've spent our whole night chasing after these men when we could be at Applebee's. We must defend our operation. Now let's go. Yeah, I mean, the Resident Evil games are good, George, but they're not nearly as good as the Silent Hill games. What about Resident Evil 4? It did action far better than Homecoming. We're trying to forget about Homecoming. I found you, government men. Okay, this has been fun, but it's time to mosey. Oh no. It's the guy from the warehouse who wanted to force feed us candy. Also, a bunch of other guys who may just be here for the party. No, we're with him. No, did you hear that? They're with him. Wow, I didn't expect there to be so many people here, but it doesn't change anything. Anyone who knows about our operation must be silenced. Sir, I promise you we didn't see anything, and if it moves the needle, you wouldn't whack a brother, now would you? I will whack everyone here if need be. Big man, I'd like to join your illegal group. Then you can let me live. Heck, I'll help you get rid of the witnesses. Come here, Joe, you're first. Donald, would you really betray us that quickly? Didn't really think it through. It depends on how the big man responds to the idea. I would never work with someone who would betray his friends. Then I was just joking. Pretty funny, huh? Hey, here's an idea. I can be your, like, court jester type. We already have Dave. Personally, I consider myself more the hot guy of the group. Are you kidding me? Have you never seen Matthew's cheekbones? He's the hot guy. What about me, boss? Giovanni, you're the lovable scamp we couldn't live without. Ooh, I think that's what I am in our friend group. Correct, Joe. I'm the hot guy. Obama is the nerd. And you're the lovable scamp. Come on, I'm the youngest, so I'm obviously the hottest. Barack, the black guy can never be the hot one. It's like the main rule. Yeah, I mean, did you really think I wasn't the hot one? Because my muscles aren't prominent enough? You know, you guys are cool. I'm gonna hate to have to dispose of all your bodies in the Potomac River. Then why are you doing it? We already promised we wouldn't tell anyone anything. I'm doing it to protect my organization. What's so important about your organization? God damn, don't you see? If my organization goes down, all my friends go down with it. I will protect these three to my last breath. Now it's die time. Boss, you are doing all this for us? Of course, Dave. I need to protect our friendship. Boss, but don't you see? In trying to protect our friendship, you are going to destroy another friendship. These gentlemen pose us no threat. I think we should let them live. Are you sure? Of course, boss. I agree. Yeah, uh, me too, I guess. Well then, it looks like you all get to live another day. Sorry about the door, by the way. I won't be paying to fix it. All right, let's go to Applebee's. Oh, so the party is just going to continue like nothing happened? Okay, then. I mean, it'd be a shame to waste a good party just because you were almost killed. Barack, what just happened? Who were those men? Don't worry about it, Michelle. All that matters is friendship. My friendship with Joe and Donald saved the day. What's that supposed to mean? I'm still very worried. Are they going to come back? Why didn't the Secret Service stop them? Michelle, just chill. It doesn't matter. How doesn't this matter? You're all acting crazy. This party is pretty lame, isn't it? And it seems like your wife is preoccupied with other things, Barack. Should we go back out and hit a few more houses? I'm down. Me too. Let's go. 
Before we go, I just wanted to say that this is clearly the beginning of a great friendship. After what we've been through tonight, I don't think there's a thing in the world that could tear the three of us apart. Barack, where are you? Barry O, are you okay? I think I see him, Todd. Barry O, get up, please. You're okay. I guess my contract with the devil worked. Guys, Donald is gone. He's gone forever. He's never gonna come back. You don't know that, Barry O. The Trumpster could change his mind. Todd, now is not the time for that. I'm sorry, Barack. I'm really sorry. I'll miss him, too. I'm gonna miss him so much. So, Ali, what do you think of my boy Dave? He's pretty hot, right? I guess he's okay looking. Okay, Dave is a solid 10 out of 10. Boss, you don't have to try so hard. No, Dave, it's working. I agree. Come on, guys. Sorry, Ali. I told these guys that I thought you were kind of cute. Now they're being embarrassing. But I know you're just doing your job and shouldn't be objectified in such a way. Oh, wow. You seem a lot more kind and intelligent than I first thought you were. Yeah, I guess he is kind of cute. You really think so? Ali, can I kiss you on the lips?